Roll into it. <laughs> this is the Traxxas X-Max, one of the best bastard trucks of all time. And this is the Traxxas Sledge, released earlier this year in 2022 and already known for its amazing handling. Wouldn't it be epic if Traxxas combined these two? They did. This is the new XRT. Look at this beast. 8S powered, 30 plus volts. It can go over 60 miles an hour. And I was told the bashing performance is just insane. So in today's video, I'm going to show you all the new features of this truck. They didn't just go throw new tires on an X-Max. I'll also show you the size difference. And of course, we're going to take it out bashing. I see some sick air in its future. The XTR comes ready to race right out of the box. The truck is assembled. The electronics are installed. It comes with a TQI radio system and the usual bag of good which also includes the speed gears to make this thing hit that 60 mile an hour mark. It's also available in four different colors. You can pick one of these trucks up at your local participating hobby shop or I'll have affiliate links in the video description below. Thanks for using those. They help make our content even better. Such a good looking truck. Look how low this thing is to the ground, but to the body. Look, no body clips on this thing. They have added their little clips down below the fender wells and there are four of them. You just pop the tabs and you'll be able to pull this body right off. I love the graphics on this body, it looks really good. Simple XRT logo, but what I really like is the skeleton that they've created here. We've got this front plate that has an air duct in there. They also have a cooling vent up top, part of the exoskeleton plastic, and then the rails down to the rear. But you can see the bracing inside. This thing isn't going to go anywhere. And look, they've got the little hooks, so you'll be able to add lights, it looks like, at some point. Look at this spoiler, too. This is a high nylon content, four mounting points, double deck, and this thing should take a lot of abuse while giving you some downforce. Great looking front bumper on this, and look at this cutout. Out. Looks like we'll be able to add LED lights here too. They've got a wheelie bar out back just like the X-Max, ball bearings in the wheels, and take a closer look at that wing mount. That thing is solid. Look at this wheel and tire combo. This is a new tread pattern for Traxxas, like this mini block setup. I was told that the carcass has a much thicker rubber now. Feels like there's a urethane insert on the inside. And I was also told that there's a new bead style setup on this thing. Still looks like they use glue, but I love the style of that wheel. We need to take a closer look at this chassis. It looks like an X-Max chassis at first glance. However, this is a new chassis. There are a lot of new parts on this truck. So just to show you, the chassis itself is really low slung. They have new shock towers front and rear that are a bit lower, but they have a lot of bracing throughout here. It, it's still similar to the X-Max design. So it's a really rigid chassis, but up front here, they have this extra brace over the steering to help firm up the front end, the nerf guards on the side. I think these are actually the same as the X-Max. Now, let me show you the bottom. Look at that, a nice flat chassis, slightly boat sided, you know, throwing a little crawler terms in there. The way this chassis is set up, it should glide over the dirt when you're landing. Now, this is something that really needs to be seen. They have these openings on the bottom right below the steering, so no dirt and debris clogs up the steering and possibly binds anything up. They also have openings here, so you'll be able to access the motor mount, which is up top. So I really like the way this is set up. It's a three piece skin. Now back up top, we got battery trays. You could put a 6,700 milliamp 4S Traxxas power cell in each side. They have these little holes here to help hold the top strap in place so it doesn't get knocked out. There's your sealed receiver box. Here's your body mounts. Uh, one thing to note about the body mounts, they have actually revised the design a little bit. They're angled more, so the more you pull on it, the more it grabs in. The steering has a twin crank setup, similar to the X-Max. However, they flipped over the crank, so the cam is above now, uh, which keeps dirt and debris away from it, so it'll last longer. And then the spring is mounted down below. And then they have fixed links out to the steering knuckles. Look at that plush suspension travel. The arms are the wide max arms, and the shock itself is much like a X-Max shock. However, it is a bit shorter, as you can see, for the lower stance of this performance truck. These springs are new for Traxxas. Look at the diameter of that wire. These are their firmest springs yet, which will be perfect for those big jump landings. They have aluminum plates at the inner hinge pins, steel hinge pins, and they revise the outer steering knuckles and caster blocks. These are backwards compatible with the X-Max. They also have new rear hub carriers as well, which are backwards compatible too. Let's get into the drive line now. All wheel drive truck. We've got a front diff, center diff, and rear diff. 
The front and rear diff have the plastic cup, steel gears, internal metal gears. The center differential does have the metal housing to it, which I really like. Uh, everything seemed to be really well greased when I took it apart. Aluminum center drive shaft, and then the CV universals on all four corners. Full sealed ball bearings throughout. It does have the cush drive. And one thing I really wanted to point out was for the drive shaft, they actually have a felt seal around there so dirt won't work its way back into the gears or any other components. I was also told by Traxxas that the gear cases have been reworked a little bit so they're much stronger for the amount of power going through this truck. Let's talk electronics and we'll start off with the steering servo which is actually mounted below the skid. That's how you access it. Uh, the servo is just like the one in the X-Max. However, the front of the spline is supported by what looks like a ball bearing. Here is your receiver box with TQI receiver inside. Of course, it's got TSM, Traxxas VXL 8S speed controller. Just this thing is a monster cooling fan on it. There is your port for your aftermarket lights, uh, which is available from Traxxas. ID plugs on there. Look at the size of the wires. Just awesome. And that goes back to the motor. Look at the heat sink on this motor. I believe I was told it's like 70% of this motor is covered with this massive aluminum heat sink. And then they have dual cooling fans. Love the shrouds. The motor, it's the Valenian 1200 XL, and it sits on top of a keyed motor plate, just like the X-Max. So if you change your pinion gear out, you change the pegs in the motor mount and your gear mesh will line up perfectly. So we wanted to show you some size differences between some Traxxas trucks and well, only these two will fit on my workbench. They're massive. The X-Max is just a big, tall monster truck. And as you can see, the XRT is a nice low slung performance machine. Now I went through a ruler up against these things and it looks like the XRT is a little bit wider than the X-Max, which will also allow it to handle a lot better. Here's the size difference between the sledge and the XRT and here's my Rustler 4x4. So did Traxxas do it right? Let me know what you think about the new XRT in the comment section below after we take it out for a rip. You guys ready? Got two 6700 4S packs in here. Go check. Yep we're ready. <laughs> it's so easy to get the body on. Oh, it's got some rip. All right, let's head over to the BMX track. Here's the perfect spot to start testing. Spin around, nice little roll. Oh, nice and smooth. I don't even think that suspension budge. Cornering's good, nice and smooth again. Butter. This jump's a little sketchy, as you guys know. It's coming around the corner, and the jump is a little bit on an angle. Let's see. Ah, <laughs> no problem. So far. Super easy to control. Oh yeah, come here, look at this. A big hit knocked out this motor wire. That's kind of loose. It needs to get crimped a little bit. We're still good on temps. A little fun in on the tabletop. Oh, plenty of power out of this thing. Oh man, just as much fun as the X-Max. Wow, that landing was awesome. All right, ready, another big air. Hit this triple. Like, so easy. Now it's time for big air. We're gonna do this. Oh, that's the first time I've ever done that here. I gotta do it again. That was sick. That is just insane. Did you get that? Ready, let's go. Oh, 
<laughs> We're just gonna do one jump. Thread the needle here. Oh, that truck is absolutely insane. That's what my wife said to me when she watched me drive this thing at a construction site, launching it off dirt mounds, ripping up dirt, and it was an absolute blast. She was absolutely right. Traxxas has developed another pivotal release in the RC world. I think this thing is going to catch on fast, just like the X-Max did. It is overpowered. It takes a ton of abuse, and it really pumps out the performance. And that's what I really noticed about this. I've only got three packs on this. I'm, I'm gonna call it my first run. We'll revisit this truck, of course. But over at the BMX track, I could just really tell how well this thing handles. It's got the power of an X-Max, it's got the size of an X-Max, but you could really carve through the corners with this, very eight scale, truggy-like, just handles so good. Over the big jumps, you know, if you go huge with it, you're gonna see some chassis slap, even though they have these really firm springs on there. But some of the jumps, it really soaked up the landings on the downside, just super smooth. And it is a really great truck to drive if you like that performance feel. And as someone who was a racer, I, I tend to like that. I love the way this truck handles. It steers really well, but on the big air side of things, you really have to watch how you drive this truck because again it's a performance like truck it doesn't have that long travel suspension to it and with these tires too you don't have the expanding mass these tires are really firm the carcass is really solid on it so you don't get the expansion i wanted to do a backflip with it and i just wasn't able to land it on the roof and i actually broke something but the performance on the truck is there. It's got some really serious acceleration. Uh, they must have done something to the programming on this because I really like the throttle feel of it. Again, very performance-like, almost sledge-like. Again, the cross between an X-Max and a sledge. So it's something that I think a lot of people are really going to enjoy driving. Now onto what I broke. When I tried the backflip with this thing, I landed right on the roof. I mean, the hardest impact from really high up in the air. And when it tilted as it was landing, you know, hitting the ground, I broke the cushion of the rear wing mount. So that's what this part is here. Already have a new one from Traxxas. Uh, so that's a quick and easy replacement. I've actually been driving it with a broken cushion and crashing it, and it's actually been fine. But uh, uh, I did break that. I wanna share everything with you guys. I also took it off the big berm and uh, I overcorrected when the truck started to roll, totally my fault, landed on the front wheel and broke a tie rod, uh, actually ran back home, grabbed one off my wide X-Max and threw it back on, kept driving. Uh, but I do have some new tubes to throw on there for when I go and take this truck back out.